Here I have a parallelogram. These markings indicate that these two sides are parallel, and these same markings indicate these two sides are parallel. The definition of a parallelogram is a figure with opposite sides parallel to one another. A four-sided figure with opposite sides parallel. So this is a parallelogram. The first property is that not only are the opposite sides parallel, but they are congruent to one another. So therefore, this side is equal to this side, and I can mark them accordingly with the same type of marking. And also, this side is congruent to this side. The next property is that opposite angles are congruent. So this angle is equal to this one, and this one is equal to this one. The next property is that consecutive angles, angles next to each other, are supplementary. That would mean that this angle, if I add it together with this angle, is going to equal 180 degrees. Likewise, if I were to choose, say, uh, this angle and this angle, when I add it together, it's 180 degrees. Let me clean this up. Another property is that if I draw diagonals, those diagonals are going to bisect each other or cut each other in half. So these are the two diagonals. That means that this segment that is equal to this segment, and this one is equal to that segment. The last property I want to mention now is that the diagonals actually separate it into two congruent triangles. So there's one, and the other would be here, for example. And based on all the other properties, those two triangles are going to have to be congruent to one another. Of course, this is all very informal, and we want to not just know these properties, but we want to be able to prove them and show how they're connected. And that would take a lot more time than this is just meant to be a quick overview. Um, also, before we go, I want to remind you that all of these properties are also going to apply to rectangles, rhombi, and squares, because those types of quadrilaterals are just special cases of parallelograms. Thank you very much.